you know, over the last couple days, a week or so, you guys have left some really, really great comments in regards to live shows for BTS. As you know, I did the mic drop live at Wembley, which was amazing. And then I did the 2018 award show in Hong Kong, which was, man, I mean, seriously blown away. I've gone back and watched it a couple more times just because I just can't get over. I can't actually get over the, the model walk thing. That was just so, it's like the definition of swag city right there. Whew. That was, that was something else. But so you guys let me know, I've got to see 2019 MMA. Those actually all these award shows, you guys left so many comments on award shows. I mean, it was almost overwhelming because I was like, I need to go watch all of these like right now, but the day has finally come. I woke up this morning and I said, I want to get to all those. Oh, the Stevie Aoki remix. You know, I mean, all these things that I'm actually going to eventually going to get to. Because somebody asked me in the comments and they said, are you really going through all the BTS songs? There's like 200 plus there's another buck 50 of other with solo projects, side projects and collabs and all this other stuff. The answer is yes. I'm hooked. I'm getting through everything. I'm going through everything. But this morning I woke up and I was like, I'm going to start at the beginning. I need to start at the beginning because I want to hear their evolution of sound to where they're at today. And I feel like when I watch these award shows, I'm missing, I almost feel like I'm missing the backstory, the backbone of everything. So I almost feel a little left out that way. And it sounds weird, I know, but it, it's, it's just my truthful, honest feeling. That's how I really feel. So today I decided we are going, we're going back to the beginning. Dark and Wild. So what I'm going to do here today is I'm going to break up this first album into two parts. So there's 14 tracks. I'm going to do the first seven today. And on the next episode, I'm going to do the next seven. Here's the reason why. This is my thought process is sometimes when I go through an uh, like a, an entire album, what happens is I almost forget those cool little things that I hear at the beginning of, of an album. It could be a verse, a bar, a noise, instrumentation, something. And, and I do, I, I make notes, you know, I, I have a little notepad and a pen when I do this. But what I found is for my brain, what's more effective is when I split an album up. In this particular case, I'm going half and half. What I'm hoping to accomplish is I get through the first seven tracks and then go on my own and just process what I just listened to. Because I, I just, especially on stuff that I'm really starting to love, like artists I'm really starting to get in, into, it's like I want to, I feel like I want to absorb as much as I can when I hear it. So this is just my process. This, this is what works for me is to hear some of it, then go back and just play the heck out of it and then hear the rest of it, go back and play the heck, heck out of it and then go back to it at the end of everything and listen to it as an entire whole. That's what works for me. I'm sure it doesn't work for everybody, but that's how I'm going to roll on this, this particular series is the albums I'm going to do half and half. So this is Dark and Wild. This is part one. I don't even know what to expect, honestly. I'm kind of giddy. I'm, I'm a little bit excited because I'm a lot of bit excited, actually. Sounds like uh, church bells. That does not. So that's my guy. Okay, this sounds really stupid. I didn't know this was going to be in English right when we started. Oh. Okay, first of all, I, I loved how he sped up there and just like started going. You guys know I love that. Wow, that was that was sweet. But I think I just saw him. I don't want to be your opa. I don't want to be your daddy, right? I want to be, I want to be a different guy. That's what I, I, I guess that's what I'm I'm hearing here. His his flow, I just can't get enough of. I've been saying that forever. Man, right out of the box here. Wow. <laughs> Okay. Okay. 
So, so far, R all RM. So I, in the past, I've talked about maybe some songs are like love songs. This is straight up about a girl he wants to be with. And I, I already I love the way that he's putting things like, you know, I'm, I'm texting you. I want to, you know, hold arms with you and stuff. But you, you sent me a message back and it, it sounds like it's just so short, you know, these like short answers type of thing. Uh, and then uh, the music. Wow. It's it's you know, it's got this very, um, very late 90s sound to it which my ear always loves. I always go to that. I love the way that sounds, but I just, it's almost got this 90s R&B kind of almost hip hop groove. It's got the hip hop, you know, with, with the beat, but it's got like this groove. I, I really like that so far. And then I guess the other thing I'm noticing, which is very apparent, it's it's RM. That's, that's who I'm hearing totally right now. Usually right now, in my experience, I'm used to everybody coming in at some point doing something and I haven't heard that yet. So this is very much different than what I was expecting. <laughs> It's like you like me, but you don't hate me either. I love how he's going in and out, both languages. Really flexes his his mental game. when he gets aggressive like this like in his voice his technique whoa so that was a powerful intro to an album holy smokes i mean obviously i'm expecting everybody to come in going forward but that was all rap monster just flowing that was okay wow all right, so we're going to get to the second song here, which I now, okay, this is a, a very much of a, a name of a song I remember seeing a lot is Danger. Uh, let's see what is up with Danger. Ooh, I like that. Oh. Hey, I love that electric guitar. It's like... We change keys there. Nice. I really like that guitar. There's my guy again. So is this like a continuation? Well, the other one said intro, so it's probably a continuation because it seems like the same subject matter. Oh, oh yeah, okay. There's my model. You're a cutie and I'm pitiful. Oh, man. I really love the sound of this. Yeah, wow, man. I really love the sound of this, man. I really I love the beat. I love the guitar and I like the the key changes and stuff. And then, you know, when that that singing vocal comes in, it's just um it's almost soothing. It just sounds so good because what a contrast these these guys have, you know? It's like you've got this aggressive like rap hip hop tone and then you've got these great singing vo vocals that come in. Okay, this so this is completely going back to what I said before in a couple of videos ago how they I feel like they've got like everything going for them. This is what an intro. I, I almost, that's the thing I got to remember. Wow, this is the first album. 
This is a really cool intro to BTS. Like, I like this a lot. That's cool. Okay. That was so cool. I was like, pause, you know? That's great production, dude. I love it. So it's like a gang vocal, so. Love his flow too. I don't want to lose that. That is, it's great. Like this part right here. That is so. Yeah. And then this key change coming here. Yes. This. I keep wanting to turn it up and up. Just because the speakers are kind of vibrating right now. It's it's freaking sweet. I almost had to turn the bass down a little bit. Wow, that was that was really exciting. Okay, uh, that's right up my alley. Okay, that's right up my alley. A couple things I love. I love the electric guitar, and then at the end, you could hear it kind of was like almost going through. I mean, it was, it was probably an effect. I don't think it was a pedal. It almost had like a wah, uh, a wah pedal effect or a wah effect on it. So I really like that. Wow. As I'm going through these um, albums, so I got like, you know, my pen and paper, and I'm just, you know, I love making notes when I'm doing this kind of stuff. And so I'm just writing a couple couple notes, and this is... Danger is, is one I have to go back and um, I can tell you right now, it's already a playlister for me. That's that's something I'm going to be in a car just jamming to. I think, since you guys mentioned it so much, I'm going to assume there's a video for that. Um, I really hope there's a video for that, like, badly. Okay, let's get to this next one here. So this is War of Hormone? Is that what it is? <laughs> that's old school right there. I just got like a uh, Run DMC vibe on that right at the beginning. Hey, little Mario. I felt like I was getting coins back in the day. That was sweet. You, you. That was that was sweet. Okay, that's a really catchy chord. Hello, hello. It's been a theme in music since like the beginning of time. I, I love how they incorporated it here. Also, um, I, and I don't know this, I, I know that RM is like kind of like they say leader and everybody kind of has a role. Um, it really seems like he's out in the forefront here at the beginning of the band. Uh, that's so far, I mean, I'm three songs in, so forgive me if I don't know that for sure, but that's what it that's what it feels like to me. The other thing is lyrically, the, the theme so far, I mean, we're talking about just boys going after their love interests, whatever. And that's what it that's what it very much feels like to me right now. Whereas before I started listening to this was it, I, I, I've, I've heard different lyrical themes and everybody does go through errors. So that's just not a uh, this is not a good or bad thing. I mean, everybody, every single band that's ever existed has gone through different errors and times. But this feels 
very much like that era right here to start with. And I love how everybody feels. I want to approach you, but you're too beautiful. It's like, again, beginning of time. I think everybody has felt that way about somebody they're interested in. Like everybody. So right there, I expect a hello, hello is what I expected. And it's cool how it's la la la's instead. love the production aspect too da -da -da, ladies first you know it's like I like that and it's a good harmony it's a hello hello and it's just you can hear the different octaves in there it's really a great harmony on just those two words Right? They're just being honest. <laughs> and I like that. He, hey, it is what it is. He, he likes what he likes, or they like what they like, and they're singing about it. You know what I mean? And it's weird because the singing tones in their voice, it's come out a little bit, but it hasn't been like like in some of the other songs. This I mean, this just keeps moving. It's moving, moving. Wow, that was good too. Man, I, I, I'm loving like the, the kind of fast flow, uh, like just how fast everything is and the words coming at you. And it's like, those vocal tones of like V that I've come to love so much. I haven't really heard those yet because everything is so fast moving. And I mean, that's a good thing. It's, it's really good, but it's a bad thing in terms of knowing what I know of them now. See, that's the danger when you go back, you know what I mean? But I mean, I know where we're headed, so I definitely am excited for that. I like how fast this, these songs are moving, you know, the tempo and the speed of it and their delivery. All right. So the next one we have here is hip hop lover. I'm expecting another fast one here. More that hip hop, more almost that evil sound with that noise. That yeah. It was a new world. I mean, man, he's... Oh, he's naming them. It's not just, it's not just Jay Z or M. Eric B and Rakim? Are you kidding me? Doggy Style was a great record, by the way. Snoop's best record. It's not even close. I 
and KRS-One. I mean, I just remember KRS-One I was also in there. Boogie Down Productions. Woo. All right, so now we're getting to hear those voices, those singing voices. And those gang vocals, hip, hop, you know? I guess I should say that. I, sometimes I throw out things. I, I'm sure that majority of you all know that. When I say a gang vocal, that's like when you get multiple people all together and you're you're all at the same time. So hip, hop, and you've got a lot of voices doing that. That's a gang vocal. And that's generally, you split those off to the side. So you have the main vocal shooting up the center, and then those gang vocals kind of come out in uh, more of a panned left and right uh, uh, split vocal. That's what I'm referring to, just in case you didn't know. I'm sure you do, but just in case. I did not expect this much in and out of English and Korean. I just did, I didn't know. I didn't know. There's some good rap going on in this song and then these great vocals right here. I mentioned that earlier in a different video how each person's voice is just becoming so warm in my brain because it comes so familiar in life I, I, I love his flow too You know, that was a really cool homage to a lot of people that came before. You know, and I mentioned earlier some of the other ones. He also mentioned Biggie, of course, Pac, and some of these great, great hip-hop artists and stuff that, that came before them. And uh, it, it was a really good homage piece, man. I, I, I really enjoyed that. That was, um, that was a cool breakdown. And I like the, I like the lyrical content of that, too. It's like, hey, this is who I am. This is what makes me me. This is what gives me the juice to do what I want to do. I'm all about that. I love that. All right, let's get to the next song. This is Let Me Know. Ooh, that's like a nice uh, flanged vocal. There we go. There's that voice. Vocal tone so much. Nice. It's a nice line. Body heat is hotter than the equator. That's that's pretty sweet. Oh. 
John Cook has really moved up my list too. It's crazy how he kind of go in and out from people. I, I, it's so weird. They really all have something to offer that's so great in this band. And then like J Hope's flow, right? Hear that high? Like, I love that little harmony in that part. It's just on that first line. God, I love that. Their harmonies are so precise and locked in. It's it's insane. It it really is. Wow, that's a, a different look from him, for, for me. Wow. I quite like his singing voice. I like it. You know, it's like very airy. Oh, that that was a cool breakdown. The drum did you get and on that guitar? It's pretty. That was pretty nice. vocal is ridiculous I mean it's like Frankie Valley type stuff I mean for real if you don't know who he is uh, go look him up that that rivals that to me that's how good that is that's how impressive that is I, I swear every time I listen to these guys I get more and more impressed it's crazy all right next up it looks like I've got rain I've seen this in the comments too so this must have been another single all right let's see what we got on this It's almost like a like a little jazz club. Oh, let me bump this a little bit. <laughs> This, this, it's weird because this album so far has kind of a throwback feel and I like it. I love the jazzy piano. Love that vocal. That's a great harmony. Hear those highs and those lows, those octave harmonies. It's great. A little glass. On the rocks. That's what I'm drinking when I'm listening to this. Right? That's what it feels like. 
보이자는 나를 감성에 적게 만들지는 못한 빗방울의 향기를 맡은 느낌 시계를 피자 없는 화장실로 간디 잠에서 덜깬 고속 내게 인사한데 만날 사람도 없는데 괜히 더 길게 샤워를 하지 숙소방 예전에 비는 내리네 갈 곳도 딱히 없는데 우산을 책임 제 쳐봐 쳐봐 걸어 정처 없이 떨어워진 신발에 비는 동진 알리듯 흔적을 새기네 이처럼 난 너에게 빛처럼 흔적을 새긴 사람일까 그게 아니라면 갑자기 내린 소나기처럼 그저 왔다가는 존재는 아닐까 비가 오는 짙은 새 성격 위에 I'm into this song too 이 mean, It's perfect. Rain. You're talking about a rainy day in Seoul. The next rainy day here. This is the song, man. Just stay inside if you got to. I'll write some notes on that. Wow, you know, the, the, the lyrical content, it's really good. And I, I like they're describing the rainy day, but it's those other, those other, um, like metaphors that are in the song, you know, I, I really like I I I like the way that this is put together, and I like that lonely gray concrete and that line. And wow, this is I, I like this one a lot. This one's kind of moving up. This this one this one might be at the top. Wow, well, you know how many songs I mean I've lost count. What am I four or five songs in? Wow, man, I like this one. This is really good, man. This is a really really good first album. Jeez. I mean, this one just chills, man. Of the vocal right here. It's like, hear that? I love that. Oh, that was nice. Oh, 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 that note right there. Whatever that was. You guys know I like weird notes. That was a great one. Oh, oh, wow. That that makes me want to go back and listen to that, uh, to rewind and, and listen to that part. That was that was really cool. Hold on a second here. <laughs> oh. I like that. Hear that bass, that upright bass. Boom, boom, boom. That's a good piece of music that they have behind that. I enjoyed that song. Rain. I really enjoyed that one too. I saw that show up a lot in the comments, so I'm hoping that that's another one. I guess like all these, I'm like, I'm actually hoping there was a video for every single one, but uh, definitely for, for Rain and Danger. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, this is crazy because, you know, I'm doing this in two parts and... I almost just want to do the whole album right now, but I'm going to do this in two parts just because I feel like it's a little more, um, cause I want to go back and listen to these songs. Like as soon as I'm finished with you guys here, man, I'm going to, you know, turn off the camera and everything. And I want to go back through these and I want to absorb these songs. That's kind of why I want to break it up in two parts because I feel like if I do the whole thing, I almost forget about the little, the little nuances, the little stuff that I love so much already in these songs. And that's kind of what happens sometimes when I do like a whole album. So, there's one more song. I mean, it's one more song for this part one. Uh, so we're going to get to that. That's it's Cypher part three. Cypher, I've heard that too. I've seen that so many. Jeez, you guys reference this first album a lot, man. I mean, for good reason. It's really good. I almost feel like going through the whole thing, but now I'm going to stick to my plan. I'm, I'm going to do the first. I'm going to do this is half. This is part one. Part two is going to be the other half of this first album, but it just goes so fast. It, when it's good music, man, it just flows so fast. I just want to get through the whole thing. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna stick to, I'm gonna stick to my original plan. But I'm tempted. Okay, here we go. So this is Cipher Part Three, Killer. 
That's what it says right here. And it's featuring Supreme Boy. All right, let's, uh, so this is the first collab, I guess, on this first album. Let's see what this is about. I'm expecting something fierce. I like that. I like that. Oh. I love this man. Oh, real. Hugo already, boss. That's sweet. Sweet track, man. You know, I don't talk about J-Hope's rap enough. I don't talk about his flow enough. Because he gets a little bit of that... He gets a little bit of that grit in his voice, too. And it sounds... I mean, that's fierce when he does, too. So, uh, man. They got, a, they got such a good thing. That's sweet. That's sweet. Oh, that was sweet. The Supreme Boy, who is this for them? Is it their buddy? Is he huge? Is he big? I don't know. I'm sorry to say. Yeah, yeah. There's so many things that are great right here. <laughs> that was a great line. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so during this whole flow there's these different beats different things going on it changes it's almost like a video game on different levels you know it's like on a you know on a game you're going and then you get to the next level the next screen and then it changes a little bit but you're still you he's still him but that's still changing Bro, bro, so good. Back to him, okay. It's like back to the gunshot supreme. Wow, that's cool. That was a cool chorus. Then the outro. That that was that was a actually. You know what? No, that is a good way. That is a perfect way to end the part one of this. 
Man, I really enjoyed that. I really, really enjoyed it. Man, that, that was cool. What I'm going to go do right now is I'm going to switch this off, end this part one. I'm going to edit it later. I'm going to right now, I'm going to go put on Madden. I'm about to go play some Madden football. I'm still rocking like a PS4. I don't even know what's out. Is there is there a PS5 or 6? Dude, I don't even know. Anyway, I'm about to go play Madden on that system and I am going to bring up this album, but I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop right here. I will stop. I promise. I will stop right here on Killer. I'm going to do that with Cypher. I'm going to stop on that, but I got. I want to go hear these first seven songs really loud in my... I got these really cool Bose headphones or earbuds, whatever you call them, and they just bump. I mean, like the bass response are really, really, really good in them. So I'm going to go do that and listen to this and get lost in this game, get lost in these songs. I will be back very, very soon with part two. I might drop a bonus ep in between because I love the live performance stuff. Actually, I'm, I'm, I'm not 100%. I don't know if I'm going to put a bonus episode out there or just go right to part two. Actually, I'm not even sure. I guess we'll see when we'll see because I don't even know. All right, I am out. Thanks so much for joining me on this. This this is this is really uh this is really good, man. This is this is dark and wild. Part one. Part two's coming. It's Tommy Mars. I'll see you next time.